Okay. Now, in terms of like historical analogies, what actually works here, even partially? So a lot of people I've heard use the nuclear weapons analogy. Does that offer anything? Where does it fall apart? I like to bring up nuclear weapons because nuclear weapons was the first time when we confirmed that the universe has buttons we can push to destroy ourselves, right? Because before nuclear weapons, it's like, okay, yeah, an asteroid's going to come in a hundred million years. But until then, we're kind of in a sandbox, right? I mean, everybody used to fight wars as hard as they could, right? Nobody was pulling their punches during the war. They'd fight as hard as they could, and they would leave a bunch of craters within like, you know, a few cities here and there. And then the war would be over, and then they'd recover, right? Nuclear weapons was the first time they're like, oh, look, the universe has a button we can push. That's the game over button. Right? You don't get to insert another coin and play again. Like you have a nuclear war, you know, you well, and that's actually I should I should caveat that because actually if you have a nuclear war, what the most likely outcome is actually that, you know, some single digit percentage of the species does survive and and seed the population again. It would just it would be hell on earth. It would be like, you know, I personally would probably opt out of that, right? I might take a poison pill or something, but there are going to be some hardy souls that can probably rebuild. So I, I guess I should uh, nuance that and say, okay, nukes were the first time that the universe said, here's a button you can push to decimate your population just like that. So that, okay. to me, that seems very profound because it then becomes very easy to imagine, okay, so what if the universe hands us something that's 10 times as deadly as a nuke? Because nukes are deadly enough that nuclear war would probably wipe out at least half the human population. So what if the universe gave us something to wipe out five times, you know, more than sufficient to wipe out the whole human population? That's totally easy to imagine might be a thing.